Hi everyone, George here, and I am in Denmark. I'm at my friend, where is he? There he is, Michael's house. Beautiful home, he's got some beautiful aquascapes that I want to show you around. Really cool guy, uh, passionate aquascaper, and I really hope you enjoy this little tour of his aquascape. So if you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment, guys, which of the scapes is your favorite, and tell me why as well. So let's take a look around. Start off with this AVA 90P. So this measures 90 centimeters by 45 by 45, or three foot by 18 inches by 18 inches. This is about 180 liters, or about 40, 50 US gallons. So that's it's only been planted for four days. So obviously a lot of growing in to go. You can see the plants. Of, you know relatively new lots of growing in to do like I say but you can see the theme Michael's gone for strong island composition with carpeting plants there at the bottom we've got a mixture of the Micranthum and Monte Carlo Eleocaris mini some Frodo stone and then some what, what wood is this black, uh, black red moss Black red moor, interesting. Yeah. So it's yeah, a lot darker, isn't it, than the regular yeah. red moor that we usually see, which has a red colour to it. Um, got lots of epiphyte plants here. We've got some bulbitis, which is in its out of water form. Got some narrow uh, Java fern there, Microsorum narrow. Some more bulbitis, and then some Nubius petite. You can see in the centre. Uh, Michael's actually weighed the wood down with a rock at the back there. And then some Staragyni at the bottom, just here. And then behind that, we've got some Helanthium quadricostatus. So this is an interesting plant. It tends to grow super quickly in my experience. And then moving over to the left, we've got a Nymphia lotus bulb. Uh, Michael's running stainless steel filter pipes here, which is different to the usual glass that we see. I prefer glass to be honest. I think the, the stainless steel looks a little bit too kind of contrasting against that background. And is it what background have we got? Is it just a white background or frosted film? Uh, just uh, matte, uh, matte white. Okay, matte white. Okay, it looks great. The, the lighting is the ADA Solar RGB, which is arguably one of the best aquarium lights for aquascaping. You can see how rich those colours are. Uh, soil is the Tropica Aquarium soil and then have you used the uh, Tropica capsules, nutrition capsules as well? Yeah, to underneath. spread out on the uh, You've actually opened the capsules up and sprinkled them to get the nutrients, extra nutrients. And we've got a twin star steriliser there. Interestingly, you've kind of uh, this thing here, the twin star steriliser. So you've positioned it vertically, is that just to, to help the the bubbles. Let's have a, let's put that on, see what happens. There we go. So this is basically pure oxygen bubbles. And the idea is that this is supposed to help prevent algae or inhibit algae. The jury's out. I mean, I'm not convinced myself, but it does definitely increase the oxygen levels, which is a good thing. And then at the back, we've got some stem plants. Obviously, again, lots of growing in to do. Some Rotala bonsai, some Rotala HR. And this is going to grow into a, a, an amazing background plant. And it could be trimmed and formed into this kind of, I guess you're going to go for like a, a, con, a convex yeah, composition. So you can trim all the stems really nicely. Uh, CO2, we've got the Aqua Rio Neo diffuser there. And then, can we have a look in the cabinet? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. So pressurized CO2, and then we've got an Eheim Professional 4 Plus, and then obviously some cables, etc. Lovely system. What cabinet is it? It's not an ADA cabinet, is it? No, it's got Blau. Oh, Blau, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, cheap one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, much cheaper. The ADA cabinets are very expensive, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And then this, yeah, look, this is the ADA tanks one of the best out there super low iron glass minimum silicon work craftsmanship's amazing on it so yes lots of growing in to do can't wait to follow the progress on this if you do want to see updates of this then 
I'd encourage Michael to post regular updates on his Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I promise. He promises, guys. So no pressure. And while we're here, I wanted to show you these prints. So these are actual watercolours um, produced in the 1970s, I believe, uh, commissioned by Tropica. And they've been reprinted in these limited edition prints that you can purchase from your Tropica dealer. So if you are interested in these, I think you've got the whole selection here, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. If you are interested in these guys, do get in contact with your local Tropica dealer and they should be able to order some in for you. They are available for purchase right now. And they're just, I think they're just beautiful, just a bit different. I've got some at home that I need to frame. In fact, I want to give some away as part of a, part of a giveaway. And probably the best thing about this space is this seat. Do you want to lie down, Michael? Give us a, yeah. give us a pose. This is where you just chill out, right? Yeah. How cool is this, guys? And if you're wondering what these dog toys are, uh, they, Michael has three dogs. They're there, safely hidden away right now. <laughs> Beautiful dogs, though. Tommy would love it here. But yeah, it's really, I've enjoyed lying on this or sitting on this seat and just really relaxing. And this is what aquascaping for me is about, just zoning out, reconnecting with nature after a busy day at work, a bit of stress, come home, get on this nice comfy seat in this lovely space, white walls, no distractions, just looking at this beautiful aquascape, really nice. Okay, let's have a little wander around, let's have a look at some other scapes. So the next one I want to show you is actually uh, filmed last time I was here. I was actually here with Yuri's fellow aquascaper from Germany, many of you probably subscribe to Yuri's channel and you might have seen the video that him and Michael did of this tank. I think he interviewed you, didn't he, for his channel? Yeah. All about this tank. Yeah. So I'll leave a link to that right now. And this has grown in beautifully. And, and how old is this now, Michael? Six months. Six months old, wow. It's looking amazing. Super fine textures. Love this lush stem plant growth. Got, um, is it Rotala Hra mostly in there? Have you got Rotala Green as well, is it? The screen. In the background there. Uh, uh, I thought, yeah. The moss growth is really lovely. Uh, Taiwan, moss. Taiwan moss. Yeah. And we've got a carpet of, is this um, Cuba? Let me have this Cuba or is it Monte Carlo? It's Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo, it's quite a small leaf shape, isn't it? For this? Oh, this is interesting. This is a plant that not many people have probably seen. Uh, Elio, Elio Kaolon, Kinnerun. Yes. Really lovely. I've not actually grown that yet. I need to try that one out. I'm not sure if it would do very well in my hard water. Some Altenant, some Altenanthra mini here. And then a little sprig of the Hygrophila araguay. There's a, some more touches of this here and here. Mini landscape rock or Siri stone as some people call it. Uh, Hydrocotyl tripartita, some a little more mixtures of Rotala hra and Rotala green, and lovely fish, some Micro Rasbora kabuti, I think the green ones, and then what are these? These like X-ray textures? Okay. They're, they're really small, aren't they? Are they quite new or yeah? Along uh, yeah, they're... and then we've got another twin star unit here. And then the classic glass outlet and inlet. And it's actually on, is this an ADA cabinet? Yes. This is a glass cabinet. This is really lovely. And then you've got the another Eheim filter. And then, is that an actual ADA CO2 cylinder? Yeah. Wow. Uh, but you've got a Blau yeah. regulator on it. So how does that work? Is the cylinder actually inside that housing? You can open it. Yeah, do you want to show the guys? Some nice tattoos, Michael. Thank you. You'll have to get one. Yeah, what would I get? What tattoo should I get? A shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. That could be cool. Yeah. A lot of shrimp. Not many people up. love shrimp. I did think of like Cardinal Tetris, like going over my shoulder. Yeah. Like, a, like a shoal of them are swimming through some plants. 
They could be cool. Yeah, that the red and the blue look really nice. Oh, I see. So it is like a housing. Oh, that's cool. And here we've got Michael's rabbit. Oh. Okay, so yes, back to the 60p. So this is an ADA 60p. What lighting is this? Is this the ADA Aqua Sky? Yeah, the old one. The old original one. Yes. So just white LEDs on that. And the 60p, this measures 60 centimeters by 30 front to back by 36 tall. This gives us a volume of about 60 liters. But I really love this scape. I love a mature scape where all the textures are kind of blending into each other, a bit of kind of an overgrown look, which I really like. Moss looks super dense and lush. Really, really lovely. Oh, I forgot to mention the Pogostum and Hellfair Eye. This is adding a lovely, interesting contrast in the texture. And again, we're using the Eheim filtration there. And what fertilizers? Using the ADA line of fertilizers here, Michael. At the moment, I don't use the ADA. I use the Tropical. Oh, okay. For the last three weeks. Uh, are you using the Tropica Premium or Tropica Specialized? Premium. Premium, so no no, um, no, NP, no nitrates or phosphates. No. Interesting. Just try. Cool. Just trying out. Yeah, it's See working all right, isn't it? Uh, change. Yeah. I've using ADA for the last five months now. Yeah. And was this ADA soil or Tropica soil as well? It's uh, Tropical. Wow, oh, okay. The same uh, nutrition caps. On so, yeah, the, the nutrition caps yeah. technique. And again, the Neo Diffuser here. And so what what actual levels of fertilizer are you dosing then? How many squirts a day or every other day? What are you doing? About three a day. Three squirts a day? Yeah. Okay. And water changes? At the moment, one at right. second week. 50% every two weeks, that's yeah. interesting. I don't got time to it. Everything you haven't got happens. time. <laughs> School and Very work. busy student. Yeah. People will be wondering why you live in such an amazingly big house and you're a student. But time for an, that's sort of one for another video, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this really cute ADA 30C. Yeah. So this is a 30 centimeter cube or a 12 inch cube. Interesting lighting on here. So this, I noticed using a lot of Blau products. So this is a Spanish company. Michael does work for a local fish store, which stock Blau, so I'm guessing that's why you use a lot of the Blau, maybe get a bit of a staff discount? Yes. Yeah. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's try it out. I mean, this is a interesting um, lighting effect there with the, with the white and the, and the red ripples going on. Can I open here, Josh? What have we got in here? Rabbit food? Yeah. You want some? <laughs> no, thanks. I've already had some salad today. <laughs> Just oh, you've got an adjustment on yeah. there, okay. Let's see if I can figure it out. I'm never using it. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you can, so it's on maximum usually then, is it? No, it's, yeah. And how long do you have your lights on for, usually? This one is six hours. Six hours, yeah. and what about the 60p? Eight. So this is eight hours, and then the 90p? Six right now. Six, because it's the new tank. Yeah. And we've got a beautiful male better in here. He's real, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Yeah. Does he have a name? Bob. Bob. Yeah. Not as cool as Nimrod though, is he? <laughs> and you find he's okay with it? He's not hunting the shrimp down too much? Not yet. <laughs> a mono shrimp can give as good as they get anyway, aren't they? They're quite, they're quite tough. And we've got Rotala HRA stem plant. We've got some Staragyne just sort of floating <laughs> at the top. <laughs> Uh, we, won't, we won't talk about that too much. <laughs> Again, this is the Tropica powder, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, Elio Cara's mini, the Tropica 1 2 Grow. Well, Nim Nimrod's massive compared to him. He'd, he'd, he'd absolutely smash him in a fight, Nimrod. <laughs> he'd probably just eat him. He's got, he only got salad. Not he only gets salad, that's yeah, why he's yeah, weak. Yeah. yeah, Nimrod gets loads of protein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we're running the CA2 kit, is the Tropica. Nano system, and then we've got two hang on the back filters. Yeah, from Blau. Just because one isn't enough. You need to get some glassware on here, don't you? And a little external filter. What do you think, guys? Uh, okay, let's go through this beautiful little scape. This is quite new by the look of it. How old's this one? It's about one, one month. One month, okay, but, four or five weeks. Yeah, but some of the plans are put in for 
few days ago. Yeah, I can see the difference. So this is actually, full disclaimer, I've never been able to grow this plant myself. So this here is Utricularia graminifolia. Got some new, I think you've just planted this one here, haven't you? Yeah. Yesterday. And then the brown one is obviously the old one. I've heard it does better in, in like really old substrates, mature substrates yeah. and soft water, which is probably why now I've never succeeded with it because I have really hard water. So there's some ember tetris in there. And what stone is this? This is a nice stone. It's millennium. Millennium. Yeah. Aquarium Gardens does this. This is what I've got in my Aquascaper 600 right now. It's a pretty cool stone. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit different. It's got more character, I think, to uh, Siri E. And then we've got the Eleocaris montedevensis in the background there. Very nice. And another style of CO2 diffuser. Is this a blau? Yeah, this is a compressed sulfur blau. This one. is nice, the stainless steel look. I think I really like this. Well, I hope you can succeed with the Lutricularia. Oh, we've got a nice little cherry shrimp here. He's cute. Ember tetra is looking nice. And then we've got a blau skimmer. So this is similar to the Ehine skimmers. I've never seen a blau skimmer before. Uh, some more glassware and then filtration. I'm guessing you've got an Ehine. <laughs> Look at that, what a shock. And I'm guessing he's got a blau CO2 kit. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> and a blau too. And a blau tank. Is this low iron glass? Yeah. Yeah, I thought they only did uh, normal uh, float glass, but that's, that's neat, that's a nice job. They uh, did uh, both. Okay. Yeah. You definitely see the difference with the low iron, don't you? It's really you do really notice it in a in a tank like this with no background, good lighting. And what make is it a blau light as well? Yes. That's interesting. So it's got red, white, and blue in there. Now the color looks good on this. The color rendition looks really nice. So what size is this? Forty-five centimeters. And then you're dosing, what, a mixture of the Tropica specialised in Bohemia. Cool. And what water changes, similar, so once a week, is it, or a bit more frequently because it's a new tank? At the moment, it's two times a week. Two times a week, yeah. what, 50%? Yeah. Yeah. So if I just sort of move back in the room, we can get an overall impression of the three scapes together. Really nice. And then we can just, let's go back to the 90p. This is my favorite. I think this is my favorite because of the whole experience, of the whole experience of, of the chair, of the artwork, of the, of the no distractions with the white walls, the beautiful flooring, the beautiful quality seating. Uh, this orange ball here, this really sets it off. Um, wouldn't be the same without that, obviously. Talk with the dog. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, this is my favorite. I, I think because aquascaping isn't necessarily just about the aquascape, it's about the whole experience of enjoying the aquascape. So if you can combine a nice aquascape with a nice viewing experience from nice seating, and the whole ambiance, I think this is really adds to the whole effect. And I don't know if you can see out here, the world's biggest collection of driftwood. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? There's like three tons of driftwood out here. Have you got a massive tank that you're not telling me about? It's a secret. <laughs> a secret tank. It's in the secret, secret room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you'll agree guys, an amazing uh, set of scapes. I uh, can't wait to see these grow in. And I, do encourage you guys in the comments to leave, leave some support for Michael. He's not active on YouTube right now. So um, I'm filming this on my iPhone. He's got an iPhone. There's no reason why you can't just get your iPhone out, do some footage. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, nag him for updates on his tanks. There you go. He's creating his first YouTube video for us right now. There we go. Beautiful. And actually, what event? He's going to film me, film me, uh, film me, filming you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Inception. <laughs> I'm just going to chill out on this soap seat for a minute because it's so lovely. I'm going to have to get one of these for the gallery. I'm going to just chin off my sofa and I'm just going to like do my rambling, like lying on here. 
Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Do you need anything, sir? A cup of coffee? Coffee would be great. Beer? Water? No, no beer for me. Uh, just, uh, I'll have another coffee. Yeah. No, actually I won't because it's, <laughs> it's past, nearly past my bedtime and I'll, it'll keep me awake. Water, please. Thank you very much, Michael. Okay, guys, let's go outside and uh, we'll say cheerio. That's uh, a lovely tour. I think you'll agree. Thank you so much to Michael for inviting me over. Do you know, Michael's been an absolute legend. He, um, I just reached out to Michael whilst I was at Tropica uh, because it's, I'm in Denmark and it would make sense to meet up with Michael. So I messaged him out, out of the blue and I said, you know, I'm, I'm in the area. Do you fancy me coming over and, and filming your tanks? I didn't realise he lived like nearly an hour away and he's not only hosted me, cooked my meal, he's actually picked me up from my hotel and he's going to take me back to my hotel. So huge thank you to Michael. Really appreciate the hospitality and yeah, that's one of the great things about this hobby is the actual community of guys that you meet and these collaborations make it all the more worthwhile. Here's this Michael's dog, beautiful. They'd eat Tommy for breakfast, wouldn't they? <laughs> so check out this space, it's just epic. Look at this, look at his garden. Amazing, look at that sunset. So beautiful, love Denmark. I think I'm gonna retire in Denmark. <laughs> Dogs are awesome. Here's my headphone. How's, how's mine? I didn't put any uh, product on it this evening. I wonder if the viewers will notice. Some will tell. <laughs> could be worse, I could be ginger. <laughs> Ginger's cool though. Ed Sheeran made ginger cool. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. yeah, everyone loves a ginger now. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. talented and rich. Yeah. It's the hair colour. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks again to this legend here, Michael. Don't forget to follow him on YouTube and Instagram. Pester him for more content because he's a talented aquascaper, a real gentleman. Thanks for hosting me, mate. A, a lovely dinner. I don't normally, I've not eaten any bread really for the last three months, and I've just eaten like, I don't know, how many pieces did I have? Probably eight pieces of garlic bread. I promised him to chill. <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to say cheerio. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. You take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. cheerio.